All right, so from the math, easy solution to discuss uh, balancing chemical equations. Uh, so I'll show you some procedure and uh, just these examples starting off with this one. Basically, yeah, I was requested to do this by some random guy, and I thought it, it's pretty useful actually to learn. So I went back to my chem book and did it. So basically, um, so if we look at this this uh, chemical equation or reaction or whatnot, well, here we have sodium hydroxide, I think, and um, and this one is hydro something. Yeah, no, I mean, this one is uh, sulfuric acid or something like that. I'm not sure. This is, and then uh, if you react these together, it goes to sodium sulfate plus water. But basically, um, in this case, the, this isn't balanced. What it means is all the elements on the on the before side have to equal all the elements on the right side. Otherwise, you're going to have random elements being created or deleted for some reason. And you can't have that. So basically, uh, the method I, I know is just pretty easy. All you do is just uh, make a table of... Um, the elements just make a table here just call elements here it's pretty quick you just put all the ones from the left to right that you see first so na is one o h it's o h and then there's an s and then all we do is write before and after and then we just uh, change them so that we finally get them e to equal before after and then, so before NA, there's only one. Bef after, there's two. O, there is five. And then, O afterwards is five as well, so that's good. H before is three. H after is two. And for sulfur, uh, we have one here and one here. So we see that uh, NA, there's uh, there's one before and two after, so that doesn't work. O is fine, S is fine, H is, is a bit off. So the next next step is actually look at the hardest one. So basically, I'll just write it down here. So yeah, look at the most uh, hard or uneven well, what, uh, before after uh, elements. What I mean by this one, if you look at this one, one, two, this one's pretty easy to change. All we do is put a two over here, but then for um, H here, there's a three and a two. So then we need to look for a common number that they could both reach for. So we look at here, this one H2 is here. If we put a 2 here, we get a, a 4. And then for a 3, H is 3 here. All we do is we need to put a 2 here. So what we could do first is look at the most uneven one, which is this. So then we will try to f make this the same number. So now we do is go here. This is a H2. We'll put a 2 here. And we'll put a 2 here so that this becomes four this becomes four this becomes four so we're good here yeah so we're good here but then we also have to see what else we have to ch we change so na is uh this one becomes a two uh the h yeah the h is fine the o becomes a six all but then the o is here six as well and it actually yeah it's usually like that uh, that one usually fixes it up the, the the fastest so there you go we have it all correct this is two two six six four four one one so this one's all correct uh, let's go with a bit harder example okay so here's basically the second example it's a bit harder um so it's fecl3 plus what b3 po42 whatever i don't know what these are i saw this somewhere online looks looks like a pretty hard example P, B, C, L, whatever. So we do exact same thing as before. We just write the elements here. We don't need to write the table there. We just go uh, F, E, C, L, chlorine, B, I don't know what B is. Okay, B, E, this one's iron, I think. Okay, and then, anyways, P, O, so we just go like this. And then, um, so we go before, what is it, and then after after and then we just again do the exact same as before so fe there's one uh cl there's three <clears throat> be there's there's three p there's two this one uh, just means two times everything inside so there's two oh there's eight and then if we look at on this side fe is uh, is one cl is two <clears throat> And then again, this one is what is this? So CL is two, th BE is one, FOP is one, and O is four. 
So again, we look at the uh, hardest, or this is the most uneven, um, yeah, this is the mo most uneven before or after, so this one looks like it, 8, 4, or actually 1, 3, these are all, all pretty even, all you do is uh, change one of them. Well, this one you need to change 2, so we'll start off with the CL, because it's 3 and a 2, so we'll look at what's the common number that it can both reach. Well, on the CL on this side, it's it's a factor of 2 there, CL on the side is a factor of 3, that's the only one we could add. So this one, the common one's actually six. So all we do is put a two here and a three here. Because the common is six, so this becomes six. This becomes six, I'll just write this bit better. Yeah, so this becomes six and the six. So we've, we've evened this one out. So that we even the hardest one out. So now we just look at what changed. Fe becomes two. And that's all the change on the before, after side. Uh, B becomes, uh, this one is actually 3. Hey, it's, and this one's actually correct there, so that's fine. So now, then we look at this next hardest one. Well, this one's, uh, all, all of them just change one number, but this one's a bigger one, 4 and 8, so let's just fix this one up first. Oh, uh, yeah, this one's an 8 there. All we do is fix here, add, add 2. Add 2, this becomes 8. And then let's see what, what it got affected. Fe becomes a 2. P becomes a 2. And there's 2, 2, 6, 6, 3, 3, 2, 2, 8, 8. So we've done that one. So let's do one more example, just another hard one, and then we'll be done. Okay, so the last example, uh, here we have Mg plus uh, manganese or magnesium plus ma manganese uh, 2, O, 3, oxygen plus, uh, and then it reacts to get this stuff here. So basically, again, it's just a simple procedure. All we do is Mg. And then we look from left to right, and then so there's you don't need to really think too much. Then before, just write, uh, we just write B and A, or after, before, after, and then again, the before MG is uh, is just one. There's only three elements here. MG is one, MN is two, three. The O is three, and then we look after MG happens to be just one. MN happens to be three. I mean, uh, one. What the hell am I? What am I doing? And O becomes just one. So this one is pretty easy. Now we just have to change. Well, let's just look at the the most we have to change is is uh, the after for O. So we just put a three here. We put a three there. We get. And yeah, then here we get three. But then uh, o, then MG gets changed to a three. Well then, then we gotta look at the next hardest one. Well, one to three, it's uh, harder than one to two, so we'll just change this to a three, and this one becomes a three, and then M N there's two here, and then this one is just by itself. We just change it to a two, and it just comes two. So we got three, two, three. So we're done. So well, yeah, it's pretty easy uh, bouncing equations. Just do this method. Write them, write them all down here, usually from left to right, on the before, and then just write them down, and then change the hardest one, or the one you have to change the most or most you have to change. Yeah, so the one that needs to change the most or or whatever that I mean, most needed to change. Well, that's all for today. Hopefully you learned on balancing equations and uh, stay tuned for another math easy solution.